this restless Yellowstone caldera is truly living, breathing, and every once in a while it burps. As the global population rises, increasing numbers of individuals are forced to move to areas near active volcanoes. Unfortunately, volcanic eruptions are constant reality that poses severe risk to human lives and infrastructure. Many lives can be saved and stability can be maintained if we can reliably predict when a volcano will erupt. A volcanic eruption poses numerous dangers, lava flows, collapsing dust, and the potential to trigger other hazards like silt, and waste flows as well as global warming that could result in tidal waves or earthquakes are all examples of such dangers. Some scientists believe that the next Yellowstone volcanic eruption is long overdue and could have a magnitude of 8 or more severity. However, it is still impossible to forecast with any degree of certainty when and how powerful such an eruption will be. The massive supervolcano that Yellowstone National Park rests upon is believed to be operational, despite its current state of dormancy. Hydrothermal characteristics and continuous seismic activity have led researchers to speculate that Yellowstone may one day erupt due to boiling, fluid or semi-fluid matter beneath the Earth's surface. In this video, we will be discussing the eruption of Yellowstone. There is a lake of hot magma beneath Yellowstone National Park five miles down. This reservoir is nourished by a massive stream of molten rock rising from thousands of kilometers below. This heat is to blame for the famed geysers and hot springs in the area. The land above also experiences periodic upheaval due to magma rising into the reservoir and then cooling. Throughout centuries, that magma has exploded in only a few isolated instances. The enormous number of those eruptions in Yellowstone has been minor lava runs, with the most recent one occurring at Pitchstone Plateau approximately 70,000 years ago, and three large explosions that covered North America with ash throughout the previous 2.1 million years. The highly remote prospect of Yellowstone experiencing a disastrous super-eruption is the cause of the region receiving so much concern. The Yellowstone Caldera, located in northwestern Wyoming, is a massive volcanic caldera. There have been other minor eruptions whereby lava made its way inside the caldera. Scientists always keep an eye on Yellowstone in case any seismic activity or ground movement indicates an impending outburst. Magma Lake beneath Yellowstone Caldera holds about double as much molten rock as was initially assumed. Even with the higher estimate, the likelihood of a Yellowstone explosion is not elevated to the point where preparation should be made. The magma for the eruptions comes from two enormous stores within the caldera, one close to the crust and the other a few kilometers under the surface. Although magma reservoirs were previously viewed as simple huge tanks, research by Ross McGuire of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign has shown that they appear to contain a sophisticated crystalline mush of liquefied rock and minerals. The ratio of molten rock to crystals in the sludge indicates the likelihood that the volcano will explode. McGuire and his team analyzed seismic evidence gathered around Yellowstone over the past 20 years to determine the percentage of melting rock in the deeper magma repository since seismic waves flow leisurely through places with more melting rock. The earlier studies only considered linear wave beams. Still, this new study used powerful computers to simulate the waves in three aspects, providing a more accurate picture of the reservoir state. Researchers determined that the reservoir is, on average, 16-20% to molten rock, up from an earlier projection of 9-11% to based on theories about the structure of voids among solid crystals. That means the reservoir is almost twice as large as previously estimated, holding some 1,600 cubic kilometers of melted rock. Maguire claims that even at the upper end of their calculation, the percentage of molten rock is still much below the 35-50% to threshold necessary for an outburst. As a result, he says Yellowstone can go through long periods of its lifespan with some melting and no eruptions. This investigation reveals there is probably not enough to trigger a disastrous explosion. Still, according to Carrie Cooper of the University of California, Davis, a modest outbreak is possible, who provided a remark on the paper. Cooper remarked, it's a big improvement in our ability to understand what's beneath Yellowstone. However, there have been claims from certain places that an explosion is long overdue. However, experts have not uncovered any evidence to support these claims. A volcanic eruption is considered a super-eruption if it has a magnitude of 8 or above on the Volcano Explosivity Index 
and ejects at least 1,000 cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere. That is sufficient to submerge Texas at a depth of 5 feet. These super eruptions have a strength that is thousands of times greater than even the largest eruptions typical in our experience. For example, the Yellowstone supervolcano in northwest Wyoming has gone through three gigantic explosions in the last two million years, each of which was among the greatest eruptions ever observed by humans. Approximately 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 631,000 years ago, explosions took out, leaving behind the existing caldera. Calderas are massive craters created when supervolcanoes erupt and inevitably crash. Few eruptions preceded the major blast 631,000 decades ago, the subsequent lava flows some 70,000 years later. Whereas another eruption is possible in the future, given the Yellowstone's history and magma's availability, neither exports nor the broader population can predict when or how this would occur. Eruptions from volcanoes are notoriously hard to predict, partly because there are no reliable means to observe conditions deep within one, and partly because they don't happen at predictable intervals. There has been a massive improvement in the ability to anticipate eruptions over the past 20 years, and today there are several markers that researchers can keep an eye out for that could be clues of an oncoming explosion. Researchers working at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, or YVO, continuously monitor the nearby region using a wide array of real-time sensing technologies. They are looking for signs of activity. In the weeks and months leading up to an explosion, high seismic swarms and rapid ground displacement are two potential signs that can frequently be detected. Both of these phenomena are possible signals. In the case that a massive eruption occurs, experts claim that the period leading up to it will be characterized by strong activity that exceeds the ranges considered to be basal in various areas across the Yellowstone supervolcano. In addition, there may be signs of an imminent, devastating eruption appearing days, seasons, or even generations ahead of the event. As a reaction of the magma underneath the surface, the Yellowstone region is subject to a wide variety of geological phenomena, included but not limited to frequent ground motions, a plethora of minor earthquakes, and other sorts of geological activity. On the other hand, these activities do not depart too significantly from their typical ranges. Scientists do not believe they constitute an indicator of an oncoming volcanic eruption. Using a distributed system of seismographs, the researchers at YVO monitor seismic activity and maintain a close eye on the ground's displacement. Although this mobility, in particular the altitude or uplift of the ground, is sometimes an indication that magma is traveling toward the surface, it is not necessarily an indication that an explosion is likely to occur. Many volcanoes, particularly calderas like Yellowstone, show traces of uplift and subduction over a significant time, even though they have never experienced an eruption. By a study that was released in the journal Nature Reviews Earth and Environment one year ago, it is challenging to forecast massive supervolcano outbreaks because of the large amount of variation that exists in terms of the time of the explosion the speed and force with which it begins, and the invoking mechanisms, among many other elements. These cataclysmic super-eruptions of the world's volcanoes occur on average once every 100,000 years. They are the most explosive volcanic eruptions ever recorded on Earth. Singular super-eruptions may last from a few days to several months or centuries. In addition, there is a diverse selection of processes that can set off the reaction. According to the experts, the fact that a volcano has had huge explosions in the past is only sometimes a good indicator of how that volcano would behave. However, these explosions contributed to characterizing a supervolcano. Lava flows are the type of volcanic eruption with the most chance of occurring. On the other hand, a gigantic super eruption would be the worst case scenario, despite the very small possibility that such an incident will happen in any particular century. That's all for this video. Leave your thoughts on this predicted volcanic eruption. Also take a minute out and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. See you soon.